This is Matt and this is a video on converting WebM to MP4. So whatever you need to convert your whatever reason you have to actually convert your WebM to an MP4, I recommend using Handbrake. It's a free app. You can find it online. I'm here on the download page. You can see that it's available for Mac OS. It's available for Windows and Linux in a range of different formats. So this page that I'm on right now, I'll put it in the video description. Uh, it's handbrake.fr slash downloads.php. So like I say, I'll put that in the video description just below this video. You will come here, you will download the one that you want here. If you're on Windows, you'll download the Execute or the Zip. If you're on Mac OS, you'll download this one right here. I'm on Mac OS, I downloaded this one previously. I will now show you what Handbrake looks like. So you've downloaded the free software Handbrake. It's a reputable, well-known and uh, great software that's been around for a long time. I've used it for a lot of different conversion tasks. So we are on the main window right here. I have a previous video open. So the first thing you want to do when you're in Handbrake, you'll be defaulted to uh, the program will actually ask you to open a source, which is the source video that you want to actually convert or encode. So. Uh, I'll show you how to actually do that. You'll have the window appear here and you'll be able to set to file. Uh, but if you don't have that window, just come up to the very top, top left, open source. And I have a pre-prepared folder right here with some different video formats that I've been using to do different kinds of conversion tasks right here. So I've got this uh, calendar in Google Sheets video right here in .webm format. So this is my own video. This is a YouTube video like the one that you're watching. I've got it in a range of different formats, as you can see right here. So we are selecting for this video the WebM format and we're going to open. And that has been opened. So you see we've now got the WebM video and by default it is set to MP4, which is the one we want. We've also got the MKV option here. Obviously the WebM option is the one that we're actually converting from, so we're not going to do that. So by default, MP4, so we've selected MP4. Now I recommend that you use a preset if you're just looking for a very straight, simple conversion, you're not looking to fine tune anything. So Handbrake, it's a free software, but it's very powerful. It's got all sorts of fine tuning. So I'll just flick through, there's things like the dimensions here, there's the filters, there's the video. Uh, so we can change all of this and we can change the audio. Uh, we can even change subtitles and chapters options as well. So just to keep everything very simple, I recommend using a preset. You can find the presets up here in the top left. All you need to do is click here. And now I just recommend matching the frames per second and uh, the, um, the actual resolution of the video. So this is a 4K clip, as you can see here. I've just highlighted that there. So this is a 4K clip. So in this case, I would use the first, I would use this one right here, the first 4K one. Uh, if you have a 1080p video, which a lot of people watching this will be uh, using 1080p video, you'll go for the fast 1080p uh, 30. Uh, that is 30 frames per second. So I'll show you about the frames per second in just a moment. But you are, of course, free to choose any of these for whatever reason. I'm just saying that those are the two that I recommend just for a straightforward, simple uh, conversion. So one other thing I need to mention right here, so frames per second wise, just ensure that when you have selected your preset, should be done by default, but just come over to the video tab and just ensure that you have the correct uh, frame rate set here. So I have 60 right here, which matches what I showed you earlier. If you have 30 or 24 very common uh, frame rates, just ensure that that is correct right there. Then also with this particular conversion from WebM, I also advise that you ensure that on the audio panel that you are converting from, uh, it will be Opus a lot of the time if it's WebM and you want to make sure that it, this is set to AAC, which in this situation is probably the best quality audio that you're going to get for this kind of setup. So ensure that your audio is good there. Um, we have the general set, the preset set. Like I say, if you if you have a 1080p video, I recommend this one. You are of course free to use another preset, but the presets just make it quite straightforward. So everything's good. 
One more thing to do down below, right at the bottom, you can change the file name if you want. And this location right here, my desktop in this case, is where the file will actually be saved. If you want to change the file location for whatever reason, you can click on browse and select a different folder, a different location. So everything's good here. We are ready to convert, we're ready to go ahead with the encoding process. All we need to do is hit this green start button and your video will be encoded and you will find it uh, wherever your location is set to here. By default, mine's going to the desktop. You will find your video exactly where it is indicated here. Once the encoding process has started, depending on the speed of your machine and of course the size of the video itself, uh, your mileage may vary as far as how long it actually takes to encode, but Handbrake's very efficient. It's a great piece of software. So hopefully you found this video on how to convert WebM to MP4 really helpful for you. If you have, drop a like on this video just below. It really helps us and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this.